It's definitely the basis of my live performance, um, both um, solo and also under my old name, not on my. Life Sup is definitely the combination between the um, performing instrument, you know, performing with kind of hardware and with, with software. So I always um, feed everything I do into Audio Watch, which just goes out into a sound card. So I've got the, whether it's a synth or a guitar or a banjo, that all goes into Mulch. Sometimes I um, leave the instruments untreated, so I'll just play them um, straight up. So whether it's a synth line or a banjo line, I'll have moments in the set a lot of the time, well, sometimes, where it's just that one instrument. There's no um, contraptions, there's no plugins, there's no looping, there's no anything. But a lot of it is um, quite um, re um, related to what I do with mulch. So I'll be performing with a little synth line or a banjo line. I'll put that into one of the loopers and I'll. Um, I'll record a little basic loop and then I'll play in response to the loop and then I'll build up those loops and one thing I really like about mulch is that I can set up so many loops like I'm, rather than just do it, if you've got like a looping pedal it's like one two three one two and then you record that over the top and it's kind of a really simple like one thing yeah like really simple a version of that um, but with mulch you can just do these weird things and they're like I like to kind of um, with the loop, I have a, I just have it, an auto chain fixed. So it's like, I'm responding to the individual loop, but it's not a, um, loop that's triggered by a certain amount of time. So it's kind of, it really responds to the way I'm playing music. So if I want to do a weird little loop, it can go on there. So when I'm playing, it really allows me a lot of room mulch to be able to develop the piece. I'll start off with an, um, one of the original instruments I'll, pick out a little motif or a riff or what have you. Um, what I usually do is I put it into the looper effect just so I can kind of build up some sound um, so just so it's not just one sound for minutes and minutes and something that's not quite designed for that. So I'll build up some sounds with the um, live looper and then that from there I get the chance to kind of just turn off the dry sound source and put on all the effects or not or some of the effects depending on what parts. So um, the what I've done with this original live, this live loop, I respond to in the effects. So then I'll um, loop up some effects and then I'll um, turn the dry, so sound, uh, dry sound source back on and then I'll do something, I'll perform something that responds to that. So um, the way the mulch helps with that is the fact I can kind of trigger um, samples and trigger loops and or develop loops and trigger them. And it was definitely essential to the live performance because it allows me to develop something that may that wouldn't that wouldn't be able to happen with one person otherwise like i can't change between these two instruments for example or even just different ideas with this one instrument without um this particular program because it's just yeah. not going to happen with two you know two sure. hands and everything like that just describe step us through all the different yeah. parts of your setup obviously you've got the banjo yeah so there's the banjo um sometimes i um for a long time i used, used an acoustic guitar instead that's the instrument I love them, I, you know, I love the most and I'm comfortable with the most and yeah. I'm enjoying the banjo because it's a bit of a challenge, it's, I'm not a banjo player, I'm starting to slowly figure out how to do it, but uh -huh. um, so either, either with this or the guitar, like, it's a really important part of my setup because I just love having this kind of tactile thing to play with sometimes and um, feed into everything else. So the other thing that I've really been enjoying lately is the soft step. Uh -huh. um, which is the um, foot pedal. I bought one recently. I've, I've bought other foot pedals in the past. They've, for whatever reason, they've not been my thing. Um, yeah. But the soft step's really great. There's a lot more you can do with it than what I'm doing with it. But even for right now, I can trigger, uh, I can you know trigger different loops, and that's really great for the setup. So I can actually just have a good time um, responding to everything. Um, the Launchpad is another kind of thing as well. I bought it around the same time as the soft, soft step. Another, just another way that I can, you know, trigger samples and trigger effects and turn things on and off really, really quickly. So yeah. both of those ones definitely interact most with the um, audio mulch. Uh -huh. The synth, I finally found a good synth. I've, you know, borrowed ones and used other ones and everything for years. The Mini Brute, I really like it. Um, it's a weird, weird hybrid um, analog synth and not analog. You can 
you plug in USB in there as well, but you can't actually program anything. There's the sheet, the, you get the sheets like you do with the old synths where you write down your own settings and everything like that. And um, like one of the older synths, you actually have to tune it, which is usually is, is really good, but sometimes if it takes, wants to take a lot of warm up, it's not so great. Um, so yeah, the, I mean, the setup can be, and they've got a sound card down there, which at the moment is just a two input sound card. Huh? Sometimes I'll have other instruments as well. So the um, everything goes into the sound card, which relates to mulch and um, just goes straight. List. Like I, at the moment, I have just two outputs, which can be really good. Um, sound people either love me or hate me. Um, I think there's a lot of thing with people doing things, electro, um, you know, electronic and um, computer music that there's so. You know, I have to essentially cover all of the like an external person can sometimes they can add things and if they know what they're doing they can you know change EQs or things like that but if they're changing EQ and it's doing it like this and it's great with the banjo like what they've done but as soon as I turn that it gets yeah. a bit complex so yeah. yeah but I think it's they all definitely interact so I mean I can do my setup um with um, changing most of these things really I mean um I can get rid of the um, banjo and say use a guitar or I can um, you know get rid of the synth and have a guitar instead of that or I could have a little keyboard or an organ or things like that so it's definitely all it's definitely the tech bits of it it's like it's the sound sources go into uh, go into mulch and then um, what I create in mulch with the various um, MIDI channels and I respond to that with the instruments and go back and forth from there yeah I guess there's no reason why you couldn't have multiple outs out of mulch so oh, that the live guy could have. Yeah, definitely. That's, and I think that's something I do need to work on eventually as well, because yeah. particularly some of these instruments where the EQ, you know, the, they're, definitely, they're definitely different sounding instruments. I think I just need to spend some time and do that because that would be yeah. really good where possible to have the kind of the four outs. And, yeah. 